So this is what it looks like backstage. You have the model and what she's going to wear, the look and feel. We're kind of taking influence from those guys a little bit, kind of paying homage to them. Um, we haven't seen his hair for it, but it's my first time doing a show as well. So I wanted to come in and do something that felt very chic, very minimal, um, a little bit to the 90s, but at the same time, felt like something that we hadn't seen during this fashion week, or something that felt quite unique. Um, we're using L'Oreal products, of course, using a lot of mousse, because we need a really good base product in there. Um, and then, to be fair, each glow is kind of different. Yeah, I noticed. Yeah, I noticed it. Um, the, do you know what? I'm going to be really honest. What's really nice is the fact that we're doing this on every single girl, no matter what their hair texture, no matter um, whether, it, whether she's got afro hair, curly hair, straight hair, or whatever. Each girl looks the same, which for me was vital. It was really important. I didn't want to leave anybody out just because they've got a certain type of hair. I'm sick to death of it. Thank you. So, Thank you. Just, yeah. Just something that every girl could wear, every girl felt comfortable wearing, every girl felt beautiful. Every girl should look beautiful, every girl should look consistent, and we should include every girl in the show. What's the reason behind the wraps? Oh, so the wraps, so basically we're doing this so that we are consistent in our, in our thickness. And the shape, okay. In our shape. So we create our little base. Mm. And then, so, because basically if we... Because we've got, we've joined two braids. There was a braid here and a braid yeah, there. I saw when you that, join yeah. the braids together, it tends to be thicker at the base and thinner True. on the top. Yeah. And we just want a really consistent shape. Mm. So that's why we're wrapping it in um, in tissue paper, just to make it feel consistent. Okay, and yeah. then you'll use the leather. Oh, okay, yeah. And then we'll use the leather over the top of awesome. that. Awesome. So whatever happens here, you're never going to see it. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, that's the beauty behind it, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the tricks of the trade. Exactly. Yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> So we just finished the show and now we're at the uh, Karl Lagerfeld head office to get some workshops. So we're here. Number Chelly. Look at those braids, how cute they are. Never ending. <laughs> so um, I heard that we're gonna do a workshop on how to make our own lipstick. And I was thinking, why not make a nude? Because I like my bright colors, but I would love to have like the perfect nude. So we're gonna do that, and I'm just gonna take you guys with me. It's pretty hectic, but so far, so good. Chelly left her vlog. Camera over there. Chill. <laughs> before he passed earlier this year and he was really excited about it uh, and makeup was very important to him, he loved makeup. Um, what's also very special about the collaboration is that both brands are connected by a Parisian heritage and I think that's something the collection really
we're gonna make our own lipstick. Oh, there's like a replica of a lab. And we need to put on an apron, so we're not gonna look that cute, but we're gonna create our own color. So I'm very curious to see how it works and what kind of color I end up with, to be honest. So I just made my base with, well, they call this the white base, but it's actually, as you guys can obviously can see, not uh, white. So we needed to add white pigment to make a paste. And it's kind of like waxy, so you really have to work it in. Now we're going to use this little bit of orange as our base to create our lip color in combination with the other tones that you can see right here. Look, it's like almost the same color. So crazy. Unfortunately, we weren't able to take it with us, but this is also awesome. We checked in in the hotel, but I literally cannot find my room. I have room number 759, but it's nowhere to be found. Am I like this stupid? Oh my god. Oh my god, I was so stupid. I walked the completely wrong way. Stupid me. Next one. Yeah, it's over here. Thank God. I really thought that I was losing my mind, but I found found it. Come on now. People. Am I going crazy? Okay, it turns out to be that I just inserted it the opposite way so super stupid but here we are this is the room so nice and cute we got quite a desk quite a desk over here so i think we're gonna do preps beauty preps over here or um near the window so we have natural lighting got a mirror over here oh my god i got a tub with some, of course, amazing L'Oreal goodies. Yes! I s I'm so excited to get these ones. I think I'm gonna do a blue look today. I definitely think so. And the new eyeliners, which I haven't tried out yet, so I'm also really curious on that. It's just really clean, simple. I feel like my face color is a little bit too dark. I'm noticing. I should put it more on here because here I'm a different tone. Well, we'll see that later on. So the schedule is so hectic that it is a quarter past six. I need to be downstairs at seven to go to the Karl Lagerfeld cocktail party. So I have... Um, 45 minutes to not only make myself ready because that isn't that big of a deal because I already have my base on and stuff but to um, Eat I just ordered room service Which I feel like so extra when I say it but that was the only option for us to eat So the whole crew is taking room service, but it takes half an hour So after that I have like 15 minutes to eat and then I need to be downstairs to get to the party with my food belly it's a challenge, but we're just gonna take it. I'm still grateful, I'm so happy to be here. Uh, today already is such an amazing day. Let me just put you here. So the reason why I'm here, because I haven't even told you guys, I'm in Paris. Hey, I'm in Paris. I'm here for Paris Fashion Week, and I um, got here with L'Oreal for the second time. This is my second year with L'Oreal. We're gonna go to the Karl Lagerfeld cocktail party, just to celebrate the collection that Karl Lagerfeld created with L'Oreal makeup. Um, unfortunately, as you guys know, he passed away, but I really feel like the team really made an effort to make his spirit, like, make you feel his spirit and make him present even though he's not here on this earth. So I'm gonna make myself ready. Um, I'm gonna fast forward that I think. I need to charge my phone, um, do my hair just a little bit. I thank God that I just have a simple hair cell in mind and then eat and go downstairs, yep. <music> So 
I'm done. I don't know if you guys can see it. I ha if I have like a set of three, it would be amazing. But I just put these ones in and like kind of a gold silvery vibe going on. show you the look the dresses from acid shoes uh, blazer boyfriend blazer just an oversized blazer Oops. and I'm back in a hotel room I had such a great time we really had a good time um sorry that I haven't filmed that much but we were just enjoying our time so much over there and I can honestly say, I don't even know if I've said it, but this event has, it's the best event that I've ever gone to, like visually wise, service wise, like the whole vibe, the whole ambiance was so amazing. Sometimes I just can't believe that I'm here and I, that I've got an opportunity like this. I'm so grateful that L'Oreal took me with them. I'm exhausted. and. Tomorrow is it's starting off really relaxed and calm and then it's gonna be super hectic. So I'm gonna try to feel as much as possible. Wow. Good night. I started curling my hair, not completely finished yet, but I'm heading off for breakfast because girls gotta eat. So this poodle is heading to Sephora. Um, I am gonna get something for a friend of mine who needed a Fenty um, foundation. This is the outfit, just my hoodie from H&M. Coat is Zara, leggings H&M, Adidas sneakers, and this bag is from Cowboy's bag. I'm just gonna go really quick, it's 8 minutes from here, then go back and then sit down for the beauty prep. So finish the makeup. This is the end result. I like it a lot. During the day for my first show, I'm just gonna apply a nude um, lip gloss and in the evening, I'm gonna wear a red lip. But I'm really happy with the end result. Mainly just based on healthy, glowy looking skin 
and an eyeliner because I never wear that and I'm just gonna keep my hair for now like this and then brush it out as soon as we need to go now we're just gonna walk around Paris and get some lunch then get back get dressed and get going So I just got back to the hotel from dinner. I just wanted to show you guys this amazing dress which I'll put in the pictures. It's from a Dutch brand called Acid and also wore their necklace. Um, so cool that I was able and capable of wearing this during the show. I just got in the hotel, had an amazing dinner after the Le Défilé show. It is a quarter um, past 12 and I have a pretty early um, train to catch to go back to Amsterdam so I'm just going to remove my makeup Oops. Um, put my PJs on or at least something that looks like it and go to bed I'm so tired you have no idea good morning it is I think it's 7.45 almost and it's my last day here well my last couple of hours actually because we have to leave at 9 10 so first we're gonna have a little bit of breakfast and then i think i'm gonna check out or before or after that and then we're leaving still got the wristband on yesterday was amazing i'm gonna clean in between or pack in between because otherwise i will run out of time but um, we first went to a fashion show and oh my god, the designer, what was his name again? I'm so bad at names. Well, we had a fashion show, it was really cool, totally different in comparison to the fashion show we went to the day before. That's really nice. And um, we were quite behind the, the show had a delay and i feel like every fashion show here has a delay <laughs> so you really just need to make sure that you have everything with you or with your um taxi driver because otherwise you panic because i had two um well actually three events yesterday i had the fashion show i had um le defile so the big royal fashion show and uh, we had the after party or the cocktail party of the of Le Défilé L'Oreal. Oh, yeah, my nose. Wait, I got the sprays right. Let me just put that. Then we took some quick pictures because I was like, yeah, I, I'm going to change. You know, I'm going to wear a different outfit and I still want to have some content to also post. Uh, even though I love just experiencing everything and being there, I still also want to have some memories in pictures and videos. So we did that. And then Romina from um, L'Oreal, she's she's so amazing. She she was my photographer over there. Um, she helped me out big time. So as soon as we did that. 
then we had our transfer to the day-to-day show. But normally we have um, the taxi for our, for ourselves, a taxi bus. So I already have planned like, okay, fine. You know, I just take the outfit with me and I'll just change in the bus because it's quite a big bus. And while we're driving, I can just switch my outfit. Due to traffic, um, like some people from another country representing L'Oreal or that were invited by L'Oreal also had to join the taxi. So the taxi was full. <laughs> and I was like, how the F am I going to change then? Because, you know, I need to put on my dress, my favorite outfit of the whole fashion week. I need to rock that. I need to have something different for the show and the after party. Because I did decide to just do one outfit for Le Défilé and the after party because otherwise it would be like too, too much honestly. So as soon as we arrived at the show location from Le Défilé, uh, our driver Michel, which is the best driver we had, like honestly, he is such a nice guy. He had to park somewhere real quickly so I could change. I had to change, I had to take off my dress, put on my dress in the car while we're like partially driving mind you i had like a huge dress on and then i need to head out like like nothing happened and while we're standing in line i just put my red lipstick on and i was good to go but the show oh my god the show was amazing i had live music which i obviously inserted which really made you feel like you felt the beat in your chest like literally i was also very proud that our dutch Dalton was able to open the show and for i think most of my dutch people they know that i had a, a l'oreal hair campaign and she was in the same campaign as i was unfortunately due to the schedule i only got to see her very briefly at that time but still you're just so proud that someone from my like little country where i live is, is opening such a big show a lot of celebrities were walking and it's just i love fashion shows but le défilé this was my second time it's just on a different level I think also because you're just so I'm just so proud to be a part of the L'Oreal family and you just feel you know that your team is standing there and and your team has it made all of this happen I think it's more of that feeling that makes it so special after that it was like the cocktail party which was really nice and Jelly by the way um, work backstage so she did three looks of the models and normally like makeup artists only do the makeup for one model but she did we went to the after party for a little bit and then we had dinner with uh, the CEO of L'Oreal the Netherlands which was also really nice to finally like kind of be calm and sit down and just enjoy some good dinner we went to like an Italian restaurant which was so um, I had drinks and then went back to the hotel. I was here at I think 12:30, and then I just you know got rid of my makeup and everything and got back to bed. As you guys can hear again, I'm super nasal. It's super annoying, but um, I just took a shower, did my skincare, and like I thought because I was putting quite some makeup on, or at least more as usual that it would be my skin would be worse but actually my skin looks really good right now so i'm just gonna put on my chill wear due to traveling of course pack my last stuff and then the paris trip is over i'm getting emotional but i'm tired um it's just weird that to experience all of this and i've been doing this full-time now for a year and I never imagined that I would be able to see all of this and experience all of this as a woman of color in such a small Dutch country um, it's just amazing and it's all thanks to Team L'Oreal the Netherlands so thank you guys so much for believing in me and 
allowing me to experience all of this because I do appreciate it every single day that I got this amazing collaboration with you guys which doesn't even feel as a collaboration it's just you guys feel like family but you already know okay oh, this is what a couple of hours of sleep do to you <laughs> Okay, I'm um, gonna get ready now and um, yeah, <sighs> get some food. It's also because I need some food. Mm -hmm.